Well, Dad has pulled up to the fuel tanks. He's reloading with fuel. I just took the 29 to Ray K. And I'm going back to trade bread for the uh, 1086. I'd much rather round bail with that. And, well, it doesn't have duels on. I don't need duels to round bail. We had round bail with duels last year. That was a little overkill. It's too easy to take them off. Speaking of duels, that duel is flat. And these are the new or less abused duels. The original insides of this tractor when I got it. Uh, the tire on my right has the old tube in it. This one over here on the left has a new tube and it's already flat. Haven't even didn't even get like a good eight hours use on it. I couldn't find anything noticeable in the tire. Like I didn't see any nails or antlers sticking out of it. Doesn't mean there couldn't be something. But I'm really annoyed that it's a brand new tube. And eventually on a rainy day, which could be incredibly too soon, it's going to go back and get fixed. somewhere. I'm sure the person behind me is getting antsy, but that's okay. There's three houses on this road, and I know exactly who should be here. And it doesn't look like one of them that belongs. Oh, isn't that delightful? Well, hopefully we're going to trade real quick. I'm going to pirate tractors. Ready for another tractor. For some reason I couldn't get the pin out, so I had to use the handy dandy uh, pipe wrench hammer. If it's made of iron, it's automatically a hammer, especially if it's heavy. Good thing Brad's not made of iron. It'd be more like a battering ram. We usually don't have to do that to open doors around here. Yeah, I wish we could have got video last night. Brad was out here chisel plowing a little bit after dark. I went back to the house. You could hear the 14 from a long ways away with that straight pipe. Oh, buddy. Hmm. Baby got back. All those tires. And kind of the way the cab set up. Yep, there's that, uh, that flat duel. Still on the rim. Send it. Trying to get my fingers crushed here. There we go. I'll show you just how wet it was. I 
had almost gotten it out. I got lucky to find a neighbor home out here, or a sort of home, and he was able to help me out. I had to inconvenience people like that. I should have known better. I should have left that hay, knowing how it mowed and raked, just how wet it was. Of course, sort of insult to injury for that guy. He said he's mowed this field before. So I kind of felt really bad about that. But yeah, you can kind of see the mess over there in the corner. There's cattails there. I should have known. I should have known. Part of the problem was I stopped. I was moving. The bale was getting full, and I stopped. Number one rule is don't stop. If you're sinking in, keep moving. Should have just dealt with the broken shear bolt later, and I didn't. Oh well. You learn, and sometimes you get kicked in the pants, and you really remember. But the good news is, didn't have to call home for help, because we are less than close to home. Ooh, watch the wind row, would you? Okay, time for a quick breather. Um, you see a little bit of mud on the tire. A lot of that sort of came off. Um, Baylor, a little bit on the tires. Well, when you see water sitting there, I should have taken that as a first sign, but the problem is, see, I had a full bale, and I knew this hay was gonna be a little damp, so I put the damp hay on the outside of the bale, except I didn't think it was gonna be wet so far up. And in fact, I'd even, I'd almost gotten out of it once. And then I backed up, the baler turned, and I couldn't keep things swinging. I think my front tire sunk in too, which really got me. So he had a little bit of help, saw that 4620 John Deere with the duels, that was convenient. Just happened to kind of catch a neighbor at home. Thank you, if you see this. I, uh, I know you now, hopefully we can meet in better terms next time. And there was this, which I was, I know I was being stupid on this one. But I had made the windrow, and darn it, I was gonna get it. So I did. And um, probably never ever gonna mow this section again in this field because it's wet. Because the neighbor's field drains over here. And I just did this. And I was uh, afraid of almost getting stuck. So I had it in fourth gear, giving it hell, lots of, lots of fuel, diff lock. No looking back, we're straight ripping, going for it. I think everything came out okay, except for a few splashes. But we're just getting some hay for the cows right now. A little bit of mud on the tire, a little bit of mud on that wheel. A little bit of mud there. That'll, that'll wear off eventually. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, the center of this bale is going to be a little interesting. Well, beach snowballs in the winter. Wish I could have waited till it was drier, um, but you know, ants and pants and whatnot. So let's see you guys with some bailing action. We'll see how true that is. I've been bailing uh, 
third gear with the TA. Doing a pretty good job keeping the bales fairly straight and level. None of them too uh, conical. Yeah, this is just everybody's time today. It got rained on when we were making those square bales and I said there was rain coming and we were rushing. This got rained on. Now we're 14 miles away from that other hay. And it all got mowed about the same day. Oh, I did get mowed the same day. This was just in the evening and I had planned on bailing it yesterday, Sunday. I would mowed that on a Thursday, late. Just because it was so thick, I know it needs to dry time. Well, that, uh, that didn't happen. So for being rained on, it looks pretty good. It only had maybe a quarter inch. Didn't smash it into the ground or anything. Well, I guess it's second to last bail because we got to string it here real quick. Let's see if I can string one hand. This will be tough. Come on, you get a little bit of hay. They got the string started. Woo! A little jerky there at the beginning. Let's start that over. Okay, we got close. Can I be gentle? Nope. Oh well. It's hard to do it one-handed. I usually do this with two hands. So we swing it. That was sort of one swing. We'll call this two and hopefully do a better job and go slower across the bale. Uh. Yep, there's definitely a OLF moment getting stuck, but at least it's not November. And I had a smaller tractor with a smaller baler, whatever that was worth. But I still hate mud. Now, if it was August, we might have, you know, been a little dry and I wouldn't have gotten stuck. <laughs> okay, bring it up gently. If you bring it up too fast, the knife will close and you won't get it to cut. Drop the door and we're starting fresh. Windrow, let's time this. Let's see if it's uh, enough for one more bale. Okay, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 5, 19. Let's see if we can make 20. We're doing really good if we can make 20. 